Hey everybody, welcome back. I'm deep in the area of the Sarnak Fortress. There's wanderers that come, but none of them seem to go into this room. It gives you an opportunity to make this area a safe place base to operate from. Just pull a guy in here. I'll take him right up to the wall. We'll fight mano y mano. So, if you've been following along, you know that I'm level 31 now. I completed the hell level. It lives up to its name, I tell you. Flying Kick now does about 79 damage max. It doesn't usually land max damage, it's rare. So I do struggle at times with blue blue mobs. I think that's the nature of being solo self-found. It's more of a challenge. You can see that was blue to me. And I did pretty well. I didn't even need to use mend. Gotta say it was a good day. All right, so he's coming close to, oh, actually they're green. Well, green's okay. Oh no, we got two, we got a dragoon. I think I can kill the, I think I can kill the recruit with this dragoon on me. I don't know. I hate backing down from a fight though, so I'm gonna continue, hit mend. Hmm. This might be too much for me. I don't know where the other one came from, honestly. Come on now. We got him down to 38, so. So just maybe. Yeah, we got him. So this is a very good spot, I feel. The dragoons are tiny. No, they're the same size. I think the dragoons are level 24. Okay. Should I even try to fight this thing? Let's see. He's blue. Yikes. I shouldn't be doing this. I'll see. Let's see, we're down to 43%, 41. I'm probably gonna feign death in a few seconds here. He hasn't hit me in a while. Oh, there he goes for 48 damage, yeah. Ouch. All right, let's just stop fighting now, feign death. Okay, you can leave. Look at the claws in his hand. Ew. Okay. Alright, so I only got a kill on a green mob for all that work. But this gives me a chance to work on my bind wound. Everything we do, we do and get stronger. Better bind wound. Let's see how much we heal with Bind Wound. Just say we have 250 hit points. To 285, so that's a 35 point heal. Per bandage. 35 hit points. Not too bad. So three bandages will, will heal 100 hit points. At some point... Your bind wound can take you up to 70% life. Imagine that. That's just so good. Okay. Well, it's a nice spot. It's safe. I can sit here and nothing comes in. So I'm going to sit back in the corner of the room here, right, right there. And nothing should bother me. So time to rest. I, th 
think we should probably start looking for another target here. I don't like that one sneaking up in the back. Can I get this guy by himself? Hurry, right, come here. Me and you. Step into my office here. I'm so happy that it's my weekend. I'm off work. So happy. So, I'm not going to get a weekend next week. Half a day. Half a day off. There is no such thing as half a day off. If you work four or five hours, that's, that's working that day. Terrible. Hmm. Well, I should stop thinking about the future and think about the present. Enjoy the moment. What do they say? You have to stop and smell the roses. Oh, man. Please, stop going. You're going to get me in trouble. Your friends are going to spot me. Yes. So I wouldn't feel safe doing this with another class because you can't. Well, at level 30, Shadow Knights can feign death. I wouldn't feel safe doing it with any other class that can't feign death because you're going to get ads. All right, we're up to 16%. Come here. Yeah, I'm already ready to get another fight. And this is a green guy, so we're... Oh, he's going to stop right there. Ah! What is you? What is you? Whoa. <laughs> he's blue. Let's bring him in here. Step into my office, sir. We've got to talk. You're up for review. <clears throat> I was trying to get the quotes for that movie Fight Club. We need to talk. Okay. Where to start? I haven't seen Fight Club in, man, about 10 years. It used to be one of my favorites. You know, I'm not even sure why I like the movie Fight Club. I'll tell you one of my favorite movies. I really like the movie Fargo. I wouldn't say it's as good as, like, the hype, because it's got a lot of hype to it. But it's really good. I'll tell you another one I liked. But it really makes you feel bad sometimes. Maybe it's if you it's not like the a casual watch. But no, Country for Old Men was a really good film too. I liked a lot. Oh come on, die before your friend comes. <laughs> oh, <laughs> and we all fall down. How? What? What is it? A ring around the rosies. Pockful posies. Ashes, ashes, we all fall down. Whoa, what is all this crap? Oh yeah, I've got one of those before. This is an interesting item. I think it's a no rent item. Well, I'll loot it. We'll take a look at it. So it's like a no rent item. All right, let's pop a squat while I check it out. So it was some kind of helmet. Man, we don't have a lot of bag space, do we? So the Jade Ring, obviously that's a winner when it comes to loot. But this thing here, you can't, it's no drop. It's no rent, which means when you log out, it's gone. It's a lower item. So what does that mean? It weighs five stone. Let's destroy it. Can't have it weigh me down. Can I get that Sarnak recruit? No, he was teasing. He was tempting me. Okay. I'll rest. I'll rest. It's time to rest. Okay, I think I'm ready. Let's try to find another fight. That thing is green to me. You guys want to check out some... So if you go down this hallway, 
Okay. This is dangerous. We're going down dangerous territory. Okay. These are the big rooms. Ooh. Okay. Keep going further. Let's sneak. Ah, we're going too slow. Okay. See if I can hit sneak again. I'm gonna wait for them to walk past. Apparently they turned around. Okay. Undo sneak here. All right, see this. Yikes, which is that one running? Well, I don't mind taking on some of these recruits here. But I was gonna show you what's in these rooms ahead. Okay. Oh yeah, well, I'll take a blue one on. Okay, let's take this guy over here in the corner. Maybe we can get him by himself for a bit, long enough time. Oh my God, what's going on here? Imagine if Feign Death failed, I would have had four of those guys on me. Okay, so you can see there's a ton of these in the hallway. I feel like a trio of high level tw 20s can probably push down through this way. You'd have to kill these guys, of course. Sneak, stand. Stand up, run. Now the ones you gotta watch out for, the magic casters. If it's a bunch of recruits, I don't care. Oh my gosh, I just happened to fail. Okay, I'm not gonna take my risks here. You don't want to fail, feign death. Feign death is now 158. You can tell I failed because you get this message that says Illuminator has fallen to the ground like everybody knew it was a, like it was all an act. Okay, so I'm not going to show you the big room for obvious reasons. What do you say we head out of this area? We've been here long enough. There's greener pastures out there. Hit mend and let's stand up and run. See you dudes. I ain't got time to play with you right now. <laughs> we got a bunch of them after us probably. At least two. And that's just a start. Oh, he, it's, like he, it's like he saw me down the hallway and just started sprinting. Too many of these are green, and that's an issue. I want to fight nothing but blue, so let's move onwards. Down the hall. Oh, that's a caster one. Let's feign death right now. Sneak, stand. All right, now unsneak. So this is the entrance just ahead. An inherent, ew, feigneth. Stand up and run. Okay, so we're done with the Sarnak Fort. What they say, VD, VG, VG, VG. I don't know. It says, I came, I saw, and I conquered. I wouldn't say we conquered. I wanted to see the big room. But... Corpse runs are getting painful, not just because of the time wasted. Think about that experience loss too. So war bones are green. We don't need war bones because they're green. We need blue mobs. We need nothing but blue. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go further down here. There's a dark elf out here. So in the news today, Senator Dianne Feinstein, who is 90 years old, had passed away. It got me thinking. Time is short. We have 
two political parties with, uh, let's see, Biden is 80 and Trump is 77. I don't have a problem with the age, but what would happen? It'd be so weird if a president died in office. Not that I'm, I wouldn't let age, you know, you know, I don't want to talk politics. I'm just talking about age. I'm talking about politics in the context of age. Because in the news today, someone who was 90 died. And when you get that age, falls become a big thing. Accidents. Just like when you were very young, accidents are your major source of injury. When you get old, old injuries are big source well falls are a big source of injury okay so what i'm going to do i'm trying to figure out where i'm at that's it you know what maybe i was in the wrong one because there's two different tunnels here what if i go in this one oh it's not a tunnel system it's actually in the fort itself so blue and blue i wonder if i can pull just a single here I wouldn't mind fighting a single blue. There was too many greens. Oh no, that's a caster. We don't want a caster. I'll take the recruit. Well, I'm gonna run past him. Ah. Oh damn, I did it right as he's casting the spell. Darn it. Okay, let's try to do it again. I resisted. There we go. So I'll wait a few seconds and then I'll stand up and look around. What's in this fort here? I was in the fortress, not the fort. I guess that's what you call it, the underground portion of it. So let's come up on the rock and let's survey. So there's a ramp. If you hit the ramp, you see a couple of adherents, legionnaires, legionnaires. What else is up here? What about there? There's the guy's head poking out. That's a recruit. So I'm in the area with all the weak ones. There's some at the top there. Those are recruits as well. There's a recruit just next to me. Let's get this guy. I like these solo fights here. Come here. We've got to talk. You're up for a review. Okay, so what I did is I put the... XR Berserker Club in the offhand. Someone was telling me I should do this. But I was thinking about it as I did it. The problem with putting this in the offhand is it's a proccing weapon. And if it's in your main hand, it's going to proc more often. But in the offhand, it depends on the uh, dual wield skill to trigger. So I think it would be better to put it in my main hand if it's proccing. Simply because... You're going to swing it more often than the offhand weapon. Let me know if I'm wrong about that. You know, when I think of games, this isn't the most intuitive game when it comes to combat mechanics. I don't think so, because we're still discussing, like, game mechanics 20-something years later. There's a lot of things people aren't sure of. We just sort of test out and... People do spreadsheets and things and figure out the fighting formulas and mechanics. I don't know. Some things are just weird in this game. But I feel they work out well. What do we have? Flamegates. A recruitment letter. <laughs> like, please join the Saranac defense. We need all the recruits we can get. All right, so right at the tippy top here. I know they're gonna hit me, so let's just take a glance around first. Fain death. So the dragoon is blue and the other dragoon is blue. That would be a good fight, so the blue dragoons. But, can I survive this fall? I just hit mend. <coughs> I'm kinda lazy and I wanna jump down. Yikes. See how I took zero damage there? That wasn't because of safe fall. 
has something to do with the frame rates of the game. I'm just saying. <laughs> I'm not exploiting anything. I just don't understand why I don't take damage. Sometimes I do. Like when I was playing on my Shadow Knight earlier today, I was taking fall damage as I was running down like the mountainside. But you saw me just jump off the edge of a cliff and take zero damage. Okay, so I'm going to put this back in my main hand. And there's an area in, in Lake of Ill Omen that I want to check out. So let me make my way over there now. First, I got to kill this war bone. We're almost up a fifth of the way through the level chipping away at things. As soon as I get to level 32, I may dip my toes back into Del Nier. I expect I'll run into like a roadblock pretty quickly, you know. I can't take two mobs at once. As soon as I enter the first room with two mobs, I'm going to have to um, pretty much slow down right there. Okay, looting, looting nothing there. We don't want it. And we don't need it. So I'm gonna I'll be running up here. I'll see you guys in a second. Alright, so I was just running along the same direction that I last was going, and then I see these So this building, we obviously don't want to fight those. I don't even like them. But then I saw this ice bone. Ice bone skeleton's blue, so why not attack this blue ice bone? Let me see if I can pull them. Yeah. Oh! There's a warrior there. We'll take him right up the side of here. Hopefully, we won't get disturbed. That's as high as I can go. Ugh, I hate fighting on the side of a mountain. Mend is not active, so I'm going to have to fight without the reliance of Mend. I feel like I'll be fine. Just got that feeling. That old fashioned feeling. I remember when I was a young, you, they always had commercials for gum. These days, I never see commercials for gum anymore. They had like double mint flavor with Wrigley's. Spearmint gum like who does anybody eat that junk nowadays? I hate Spearmint gum. It's disgusting um, I used to like What's the one that started with a T? Uh, I can't remember it Trident Trident it was a Trident gum but they had the red flavor. It was the cinnamon and it was super hot and spicy. Ooh, I used to hate that. It like would burn my tongue and I would get so mad. Like why do they have to make it so damn hot and spicy? Okay, we get, okay, Daggett says, are you allowed to buy items from players on this character or are you only willing to buy items you find on NPCs? Yeah, that's a good question. I can, I can only, buy things from vendor NPCs or what I find on loot from my own kills. That's sort of the rule of the solo self found. It's the way of the it's the way of the Ixar monk. Only take what you kill and kill all you take. No, I was thinking of that buffet thing. The buffet rules. Take all you want, but eat all you take. In other words, if you do it the right way and you don't waste food, the buffet won't lose money because one person could only eat so much food unless you're like a world champion eater. And man, that's one job I wouldn't want. Imagine eating 50 hot dogs. Ugh. Even if you could do it, it's 
got to be dangerous. I mean, you're just like working against your body. Your body's like trying to push the stuff out of you and you're just shoving it back down. It's like, that's got to be so dangerous. You're like forcing your body to <laughs> store food and it's like you're stretching your stomach out. I wonder if there's ways to cheat, like, obviously, I'd worry about acid reflux. I wonder if there's any sort of physiological anomalies that help a person get an edge. Professor Akabayo. I don't know what these guys do. Okay, so, oh, oh, this is the way. I was at the wrong spot, so I, I was wondering, like, where the hell is it? So, actually, no, that's... Not it. There's a player out here. Where is the damn thing? Because there used to be like skeletons. There used to be like a hut with skeletons in them. Well, I can fight Grimmelkins. These are all blue. Let's do that. Okay, Daggett says, okay, just checking. You should check vendors close to City of Mist. Woo's quivering staff. Woo. Yeah, that's a good question. I wonder how much it would cost. Certain items are underpriced on vendors and certain prices items are super overpriced. For instance, this Overseer Signet Ring. I bought this for about one gold. No joke. I bought this for like one gold on a vendor. It's 8 AC, 8 Dex, 8 Charisma with 6 Magic Resist. For one gold, I bought this on a vendor right outside of um, Kabilis. Kabilis. And it was in the zone Swamp of No Hope. Like, who the heck's checking the vendor out there? It says, it's a lore item that only monks can use and only sells for 100 platinum. I bet most people just vendor it. Oops. Oops. Okay. Yeah, good idea. I can check into that. I can go see if there is. I just haven't been over that area. Oh, by the way, my life is getting kind of low. I'm 37%. No problem. I've got mend. Okay, so we're up to 20% of the way through the level. And I'm about to get this kill. So I'm thinking about that suggestion. But there's also another plan here. What makes a monk solo self found fun is, you know, getting those upgrades instead of getting lucky on a vendor. So I'm just maybe a few levels away. Maybe few means five. Maybe I'm five levels away from getting a boat, a fighting baton. So if I can get myself a fighting baton from down near that would be pretty cool there's got to be some items like a two-handed blunt weapon from down near okay so what are we going to fight here i'm running out of options here and this video is getting 30 minutes long already this has not been productive and it's raining out here nobody likes to play in the rain damn it i really do not like lakeville omen is this like people's how do people feel about this zone? It's just, to me, it's, I mean, it's not exciting. Too much junk runs around here. Goblins galore. Uh, I don't like it. I'm not a big fan of the Sarnax. They don't seem to drop anything amazing. And what do we do? I mean, I don't know what to do, guys. I'm out of ideas. Oh, Daggett says, but yeah, the vendors might ask for much more than a player would. That sort of thing about solo self found, you're always overpaying for things. Yeah, because I did buy many woos pieces from K 
Kabilis for around 